What's up, ladies? This is Diana coming back with you. Um, I'm just doing a brief, a brief, a brief tutorial on um a dye that I use. It's very common dye. A lot of you probably know how to use it, but I do get a lot of girls who ask me, um, what dye to use if dyeing jet black. I use a dye when dyeing weave jet black. Um, any kind of box dye, I usually use like a Revlon or a L'Oreal, whatever the cheapest one I can find because usually anything will take black fine. Um, when I'm doing my own hair, because a lot of those dyes um, have developer in them, well all of them do box dyes have some type of bleach or developer in them, I don't use that on my own hair. Um, when going black dyeing your own hair, you can typically just use a rinse. Sometimes some rinses take better than others. Um, one that I have found that I recommend to girls a lot is the um, Beijing rinse. Um, I use the Beijing Oriental Black. This gets my hair bone, not bone straight, sorry. This gets my hair blacker than ever, okay? So, a lot of girls when they get this, they're like, um, how do you use this? You know, they don't know exactly how to mix it or whatever because it comes in a powder. This little powder comes in there. And then there's a measuring cup. So typically, if you're just going to use half, I like this because sometimes when I just want to dye my leave out, I can just use some of it, mix up a little bit, and uh, put it back. But usually when I'm doing my whole head, which I'm going to be doing today, just took my sewing down. So I'm going to ready to go back jet black. And um, as you can see, I have breakage for like the middle part area from the leave out. So I'm going to be trying to um, start doing a, a, a wearing the U part wig so that I can give my hair some rest and also use a closure, the elastic band method. But um, back to this at hand. We got the Beijing dye and the measuring cup, okay? And I'm going to show you all how to mix it up and how to apply it. This should be enough for one head. I get a lot of girls are like, I had to use a couple of them. You should not have to use more than one of these to dye your whole head jet black, okay? So stay tuned and we'll be, um, be showing you how we mix it. Okay, so... First, we're going to use the um, measuring cup, and you'll see, I don't know if you can see, but the measuring cup, we're at, for a full, you need to fill this all the way up. So we're just putting, that right there should be enough to do your whole head, okay? And here it has steps. If you want to just use a fourth, if you want to use a half, if you want to use all of it, you're going to go to the top of the brim. Make sure this is getting in there. So now, empty all of the powder in here. You're going to stir until it becomes like a little pasty. It'll start turning black. And then you would apply this, once it becomes a little bit, you'll see it's getting a little bit pasty. If you can see. Once you have it to like a little a pace it's starting to get harder then you're going to you know part your hair in four sections and apply it just like any other dye or any or how you would apply a perm or anything else to your head and you're going to let it sit mind you it looks brown don't let that deceive you it looks brown but believe me it'll get your hair jet black and frankly I can't wait to get back jet black lady so stay tuned I will come back once I have it on my hair and rinsed out so that you can see the um, how black it got. Because right now my hair is like a reddish brownish color. Okay ladies, I'm halfway through and I actually did have to get another half, use a half of a bottle so I filled the measuring cup up to just halfway mark the second step. 
um, as you can see it, it takes real fast and the reason why and I forgot to mention this that I like using the Beijing is because it's chemical free ammonia free there's no it's all natural so there's no harsh chemicals in this so a lot of you ladies who are natural who like to keep it as natural as possible this would be the best rinse um dye whatever you want to call it to me um and it gets the hair jet black if you can't tell it gets the hair jet black so I will be back I need to put the rest of this on okay so I'm back and I'm letting it sit and you can see how well it's taking jet black oh just so you can, all can see the box see what I'm talking about um, that it is ammonia free no hydrogen peroxide required see right there so you can get this at your local beauty supply me I always seem to keep these on deck because when I'm not a reddish color I'm always um, jet black and as we know rinses do tend to fade so I always keep one of these in the uh, cabinet just on standby you can get it at beauty supply and you can also get it at Walmart um, they're gonna range from wherever you go from like $2.99 to $3.99 you should pay no more than that um, if you do you need to go somewhere else so I will be back once I have washed it all out and um, that'll be that Hey ladies, I am back, and as you can see, I am oriental black, and it took everywhere, you see I got the undercut, but it took everywhere, and it took good, and I love it, it's jet black, like, like I don't know if the camera can catch how black it is, it's jet black, but you can see my damage from my middle part leave out so I'm gonna be working to get that back together but yeah so I really suggest that if you want something that's going to make the hair jet black try the Beijing Oriental Black Ladies make sure you subscribe check out my other videos hit me up um, leave any comments questions um, one thing I want to know if anybody's ever tried the Beijing in the other colors like the brown and the other tints because this color takes so well I'm wondering how well do the other colors take so hit me up and let me know if you've tried it out peace